Well, News 5 is also following through on efforts to reduce the blight in Northeast Ohio neighborhoods. It's an issue we've been covering for years. Yeah, we sure have. Good morning, Cleveland anchor Mike Brookbank introduces us to two friends who are on a mission to save, rehabilitate, and renovate for families who call Cleveland home. At the beginning of this block full of older homes sits a much needed sign of hope. I caught up with a pair of buddies who turned their old shipping container dreams into a reality with the help from a nonprofit. They're familiar faces. We've talked to them before. I wanted to check in to see how they're doing three years later, the successes that they've seen and how they're hoping to inspire others to reach the same goal. Along East 73rd and Detour Avenue in Cleveland, you'll find homes holding on for dear life. The aging structures creating an eyesore in the East Side community. But a group of best friends are buying back the block. We can get rid of the dilapidated homes that, you know, that are a nuisance. From neighborhood fights. I think the first time we met was uh, in a fight playing football. To excelling to new heights. Will said it'd be good for us all to come together and make more of an impact for the community. Jermaine, Richard, and Will formed a foundation in the real estate industry right here in Northeast Ohio. We first introduced you to the WRJ developers back in 2020. They transformed shipping containers into affordable housing. But the business partners admit it hasn't always been easy. We started and concentrated on duplexes because we kept getting told no on the apartment building. Uh, due to our resume, due to the funding. A lot and of perseverance when you're getting all those no's. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, it's yeah, easy definitely. to quit. Yeah, I mean, we're still getting told no to this day. <laughs> but they finally got a yes from Cleveland Development Advisors. And that was the, the help that we needed. That was the push that really motivated us to keep moving forward. Now CDA is looking to help others facing the same challenges. They're launching the Cleveland Equitable Development Initiative. It's eight months of training designed to mentor, support, and create more opportunities for entrepreneurs of color. It's a program the Senior Director of Development Services at CDA tells me will cultivate the next generation of developers. Developers, they, they, they have the talent, right? I think they, they, they also bring together the vision. Um, what's lacking is, is the partnership. When you see um, the developments that you know essentially meet the needs of the, the community um, and then also are reflective of the community, hopefully uh, you know people will get on board and, and essentially um, gain approval for some of these projects. The Architainer project is a labor of love. The WRJ developers say has turned into a community project. The neighborhood comes out, they watch the property, they want to walk through the property, they want to know how they can improve their properties, um, so the value goes up for everybody. And it's a community they say will continue serving. We're not leaving, we've been here all our lives, so we want to be here and watch this thing grow. The guys tell me this is likely the very first multifamily housing unit made out of old shipping containers in the entire state of Ohio. Really cool to see it right here in Cleveland. Now, I care about the stories that matter to you. So if there's one that you would like me to follow up on, just send me an email, michael.brookbank at wews.com. Reporting on Cleveland's east side, Mike Brookbank, News 5.